Last week, I showed you the three Canva features I absolutely cannot live without. Now, this week, I would like to do the same, but instead of focusing on features, we are going to focus on the Canva apps. So this is my top three Canva apps of all times. Hey, what's up everyone? Ronnie here. Welcome back to our channel. This is the best place for you to learn about Canva. We have two tutorials every week. So yeah, this is me presenting you my top three Canva apps of all times. So let's start with the first one. Giphy is an app that I absolutely love in Canva. It's an old app. I think it's there since the beginning of apps. And yes, it made it to my absolute top three. So let me show you what Giphy does. I'm going to click on the apps button here. Find Giphy like so. Giphy and the logo looks like this. All right. So what Giphy does is very simple. It allows you to insert GIFs into your Canva documents. And this these GIFs come from Giphy, the platform Giphy.com. Once you open the app, you should see a selection of the latest GIFs. I don't know if these are the latest GIFs added to the platform. I see the Pedro, Pedro, Pedro uh, uh, little GIF here, the little raccoon. So this lets me know that these GIFs are pretty recent because I'm seeing some of the latest memes on the internet being showcased here. I love the simplicity of Giphy. If you like a GIF, just click on it and and it will be added to your design, like this nice little piggy right here resting. Once it's on your design, you can do a few different things with this GIF, okay? You can play around with the corner rounding, you can add a border, and this border can have any color you want. You can create a gradient color, gradient border for your GIF if you want, by just simply creating that gradient color, just like you would do normally with any other frame or photos. Okay. What else can you do? You can flip them. If I click on the GIF and flip it horizontally or vertically. So that's pretty cool. And I believe you can also attribute like an animation to it, just like a normal object in Canva. So that's all of the different things you can do with your GIF. One thing you need to know is that when you are in presenter mode, or if you are including this GIF on a Canva website and then share your website with someone, the GIF will still play in presenter mode mode in website mode. For example, if you export your document as a PDF, the GIF won't play, okay, because these are not interactive documents. All right, so that's what Giphy does. And for us at Team Rondi, it's been so useful. We've been using and abusing GIFs in our videos because we think they add so much fun to the editing process. So our video editing team, I know they love GIFs. They are probably going to have fun with this little segment of mine. And yeah, it's just so simple to use with the Giphy app. So let me show you a couple of ways I like to search for GIFs right here. Let me delete this little piggy right here. So one way to search Giphy to find the best results is to focus on emotions you want to convey. So for example, if you are trying to find the emotion that would go with hilarious, hilarious. Okay, so you type hilarious and you find some pretty good, interesting GIFs of for example, this one cracks me up. What else? We have this one right here. Also good, like the lady spilling her water. Yeah, you just have a bunch of different funny GIFs. And the more you use them, the more you're going to try to illustrate your designs or your videos with GIFs, you will pick up the flow. Like you can even like shorten them. If you are creating a video, you don't need to take the entire GIF. You can show just the portion of the GIF. But yeah, so the first piece of advice I would give you is to focus on the emotion. If you search for awkward, let me find. So for example, you have something like this, and it's awkward, or something like this, awkward. So you see, searching for the emotion will really help you get there. You can also search for people. For example, if you want to find a GIF with the rock, you can type the rock and you will find GIFs about the rock, like this one, for example. So that's another way to search for GIF. Another way you could search 
research Giphy is by thinking about the sentence you want to illustrate. So sometimes I know our video editing team, when I say something particular, they would add that GIF because the words that I say trigger in their mind, okay, yeah, I could put a GIF like this. So for example, let's imagine you have a sentence like told you. So you just could put told you and then you have a GIF like this, like told you or like this, yeah, told you, you know. So it expresses that emotion, like you find the right sentence you want to illustrate, you type it in there and Giphy will work its magic and provide the appropriate GIF to illustrate that sentence. Or sometimes you don't have the exact sentence, but you have a concept, like you have something in mind, like for example, having a bad hair day, okay? A bad hair day, meaning your, your hair is all messed up. So you could express that with a GIF like this, for example, like bad hair day, okay? Or you have some other types of GIFs to express the same thing, kind of like this, all right? Or maybe something like that could be funny, you know? So GIFs basically designed to be funny. Giphy is the best resource right here on the internet, I believe, but also we have the chance to have this app right here on Canva. And because we've used it so much with the team, I couldn't help but putting this in my top three. So Giphy, try it, learn to search and get the best results out of it. Let us know in the comments if you have other tips for searching Giphy. And in the meantime, we are moving on to the second app. My second favorite app of all times is Type Gradient by Pixel Thinkers. Pixel Thinkers, a great team of app developers for Canva. They have created other apps like Type Extrude or Type Lettering, but I think Type Gradient is still to date their nicest app. So Type Gradient, it's spelled like this, Type Gradient. The logo looks like this one. I'm gonna open it. And what Type Gradient allows you to do, it's very important because this is something Something that was missing in Canva. We could not do this. There is no feature to create gradient text in Canva. So pixel thinkers come and position themselves as the solution for that with type gradient. So type gradient, once you open it, it looks like this. You will have a first window right here where you can type in your text. Let's start by typing something interesting here like this. Thanks for watching. Okay, I'm using the old caps because I like the way bigger, bolder fonts, bigger, bolder letters look with this app. So thanks for watching. I spread the text on three lines and I will make sure there is no space between the last letter of each word. Otherwise it will mess up my alignment. Okay, so that's the first thing, the first step I would say to creating a type gradient. The second step is to choose the font. So there is an abundance of different fonts right here. They still don't have the entire font collection that exists in the Canva library. I think this could be worked out at some point. I'm not sure why it's like that, but there is a lot of fonts. And I think that what works best for type gradient is to choose a font that is quite thick, quite bold, because then you can see the gradient, you can see the color inside each letter. The default one is Anton, which is a great font, by the way. So if you're not sure what to do, you could stick with this one. Another one that could look and work well with this time of design is Bangers, which is one of the internet's favorites. So I'm going to use Bangers, but feel free to just scroll down. I'm only in the B's right here, so it goes all the way to the Z's. But yeah, so Bangers will probably work. I'm going to go with Bangers. Thanks for watching. See, Bangers is this kind of like playful meme kind of font. So I think this will do the trick. The next decision you need to make is about the alignment of your text. You can have it justified to the left, centered or to the right. So I'm going to justify in the middle center and I'm going to add a little bit of space space between my lines. Okay, so line height, I can probably set that to minus two. And then comes the important part, the choice of colors for your gradient. So the way it works, there are three little dots by default that you can click on, but you can add more of these dots. But each dot 
represents one color. So you could have a two color gradient if you delete this dot right here. And in order to delete it, just click on it and click on the delete button. And there you go, you only have two colors. So I like to work with two, maybe three color gradients, but let's try. So I'm gonna use one of these like warm pink right here. And for the other one, we could go a little bit more into the blues and go for yeah, a nice deep blue like so okay good i'm good with this and i love that the preview adjusts automatically in real time when you change the colors here so that's pretty cool and then the last thing you can tweak in type gradient is the positioning of your gradient like where does the light come from so you have these two little handles you see the two little bullets i would say that you can move around one represents the blue color the other one represents the pink color okay so you can move that around to create a specific effect on your text like a specific gradient on your text so I think this is fantastic because you can really customize these gradients to your taste add more light or add more effects to it so I think I'm gonna stick to something like this this is pretty cool you can even go further down the frame here you don't need to stick to the frame okay once you're happy with your gradient you can just simply click on the purple button to add it to your design so there you go it's add it to my design the quality is amazing so yeah that's how you can create easily without having to hack the system gradient text in canva so type gradient my second all-time favorite app because it solves a gap in what canva can do and i absolutely love that only caveat i could see is that i would love to have access to all the fonts that's one and two i would love them to give access to my brand kits so the colors in my brand kits maybe the font in my brand kits if we could have all of that in type gradient it would be a five out of five app but yeah i still love it for what it does and for the outcome i can generate with this imagine creating such a cool color gradient text to print on a t-shirt you can do that with type gradient and canva print so yeah go have fun go create some cool products some cool posters some cool mugs or t-shirts it's all there you can do it not easy to choose a third app in this my favorite apps of all time kind of ranking but it had to be bitmoji why so well because i had to look back and be true to myself like what is the app i use the most what is one of the app i've overused in canva along all these years where i was using canva and the answer is bitmoji i use bitmoji a lot so let me first show you what it looks like bitmoji it's this app right here and if we look at the app details it's created by canva which is an interesting information because bitmoji is i believe a product from snapchat so in order to use the bitmoji app you will first have to one have a snapchat account you absolutely need that because you need to create your bitmoji so the first time you connect your app in canva you will see that button that says connect when you click on connect you will need to log in to your snapchat account right here in in canva so this means you need a snapchat account so that's step one make sure you have a snapchat account and me i never use snapchat like i only created the account to well I, it's not true i do use snapchat because of all the funny filters they have and i can take a selfie of myself i don't know in different like ridiculous faces or whatever so i use snapchat like this to have fun with my own selfies and send them to diana but the other thing that you need is to once you have a snapchat account is to create your bitmoji on snapchat so let me show you how you do that i'm going to grab my phone so once you are on your snapchat account click on the little profile picture on the top left corner and you should see a menu to invite you to create your avatar okay me i already created my avatar my bitmoji so by clicking on it i can start customizing it you see i can change the outfit so let's give myself some crocs okay i like the crocs maybe not blue let's say white crocs yeah that looks good all right the jacket where is my jacket i'm just gonna deselect the jacket okay no jacket so i'm gonna go with my shirt and change the shirt color okay to match today's color so it should be something in the beige like so yeah pretty cool and the shorts you don't see but i have some khaki shorts kind of like this so now i'm matching my outfit 
pretty much. I'm going to save that. If this is the first time you create your Bitmoji, you will have to create it from scratch. So it takes a bit of time because you need to put the right facial hair, the right color of eyes, if you wear glasses, etc, etc. Now, I have created my Bitmoji or updated my Bitmoji. That was step two. And step three is simply to connect the Bitmoji app to Canva via your Snapchat credentials. So in order to do this, simply click on the app, click on open. This will bring you to this screen right here, which is a Snapchat window. So from here is your login. So here you need to use your Snapchat credentials. Okay, me, I think I already did it. Make sure to turn on the Bitmoji avatar. Okay, and then click on continue. This will bring you back to Canva. And now you should see a bunch of different Bitmojis right here with your custom avatar. You see it has the t-shirt I just updated in my Snapchat account. And yeah, there are so many of these and you can simply click on them to add them to your design, you see? And they are of pretty high quality. And there is a Bitmoji for pretty much everything out there. So look at this one. So I could see myself using this. I like the little crux right there with the socks, important. So one that would be quite accurate for the time being is this one because tomorrow Diana and I are actually traveling. Well, by the time you watch this video, we'll probably be back already, but we are traveling to Indonesia tomorrow. So this will be me in about 30 hours. I would be chilling somewhere on a beach. But yeah, what I wanted to show you is the large choice of Bitmojis that you would get from here. And I love that they added a search functionality. I think this is a novelty in the app. So for example, you could also also search for emotions like in the Giphy app. So for example, sad, if you feel sad at some point, you could find a sad Bitmoji of yourself like this one. What I love about the Bitmojis is that they are really personal, right? You can really have fun with them. It's just a more custom way to express things, to add a unique touch to your Canva design. And I know Bitmojis have been used and used and used again, but I still think they are an easy win. Like a, very simple way to personalize your designs. And we have actually used one of these Bitmojis in our logo. So you see these two little guys right there, they are Bitmojis. And so we took them and then we started to create a logo based on these two characters. So Ronnie and Diana, the team Ron D, right? So yeah, Bitmojis, I couldn't help but showing you this app. It's one of my all times favorite. Go ahead and search for them. Go ahead and update your or Bitmoji character with your Snapchat account. As you've seen, it's super easy to do. So change their outfit, change the glasses you're wearing, change everything you want. Keep it fresh, keep it up to date, the haircut, and have fun with all of these Bitmoji characters. All right, guys, you made it to the end of the tutorial. If you enjoyed it, give us a like, share it with a friend of yours. Let us know in the comments which one of the three is your favorite, or if you had another ranking, what is your top three? favorite apps of all times in Canva. And I'm going to leave you with our playlist of the hot new Canva apps where I review and rate all the latest apps that come up in the Canva marketplace. 